Lady girls and gentle boys, welcome to a game where I will quite possibly shed a tear or two. This game is called Tell Me Why and it's from the same developers uh, as, the, as the people who made uh, Life is Strange and Life is Strange 2. And that was that was quite the emotional roller coaster. And I'm not expecting this game to be particularly, you know, happy uh, throughout the entire story. I'm expecting a lot of feels. And you can hear by the music in the background that it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough ride. So this game follows the story of these two siblings here. Uh, they start they are actually twins. And this dude here actually is a transgender and from what I understand reading that one Wikipedia article this is the first game from a major developer where you actually control a transgender character so this game is going to be tackling a very contemporary uh topic tell me why the story based blah 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 child choices blah blah choose wisely all right yeah of course decision making game and I ace good decisions because I've done so well in life in general all right, here we go. The story follows their childhood, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a whole flashback kind of a thing. Delos Crossing, Alaska, 2005. Is it Delos or Delos? I don't know. <coughs> Hey, kiddo. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Oh! What the fuck? I just got goosebumps. How long did that take? Like a full minute and I'm already like, eh, my god. Okay, 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 okay. So now we're 10 years later. Jesus Christ. So I don't know how much um, of the, how much of Life of Strange rubs off here in terms of superpowers. Don't know if people get superpowers here, but I'm ready for it. Jesus Christ.
So I wonder what's going on. Okay, first, right. I'm gonna find the keys to the old house. Then, Allison. I'm gonna drive to Fireweed, and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. Okay, so you're here. Going, going home or something? I've got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler would want to go. Tyler, Tyler and Allison, okay. Hey, you wanna freeze your ass off watching burning- Oh, right. I st I'm sorry, I've interrupted you so many times, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're in here, right? In the memory box. Ah, there you go. <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. The Alaskan Yoda. <coughs> Forgive me, but I'm going to snoop right. around your... I think I'm ready to go now. No, we are not. I'm going to snoop around so I can get a little whiff of your personality. One more season. One more what season. What am I going to do with myself when it's over? Get invested oh my God. in the lives of real people? I know. It's so relatable. Oh my God, you get me. I can fix this. Okay, you know, okay. Some do a DIY stuff. It's okay. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. Yeah, speak of the blinds being closed too. I could look at this artwork all day. All right, all right. Not the prettiest of my creations. Okay, so she we really didn't. Kind of looks like me in the morning. <laughs> okay, ice skating. Can we look at it, please? I've been practiced since high school. Okay, I'm ice skating. Super rusty. Into watching TV. Looks at stars. Is creative. All right, all right, all right. That's the music. We don't want to listen to music. Okay, she really likes space travel, huh? I should probably get rid of this. I mean, Where's I can stream it anytime I want. But Journey through the stores. That makes me happy just to look at the box. You say very relatable things. Ooh, what's that? Prom? Hey, my kid. Why do Turn. I still have this? Every time uh -huh. I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. <laughs> oh, and she's single. All right, we got a nice... Whiff of your personality. So. I think we gotta read the newspaper though. That seems like a very relevant thing. Police Chief Brown asks council to reconsider budget. Dark strike to begin this week. It's probably one of those things that right now it's very like not so important. But it's probably gonna be very relevant to the story later on down the road. like this? Or is it too much? Ooh. It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. Probably referring to the brother. Michael and Tyler are so gonna hit it off. Alright, okay. She's just a hockey girl. Na 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 na. I didn't click on your laptop. Tell me what's on the I thing. Probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Alright. Okay, good. So, okay, we've we done everything. We gotcha. We know who you are. Let's check yourself in the mirror. Looking good. Let's go. Uh, Allie. She's gonna be so awkward. Okay, yeah. Definitely. Uh, dear Tyler, I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey, bro, just wanted to give my twin a shout before reuniting after 10 years. 10 years of swank juvie is more like, what? Swank juvie is more like letter territory. Okay, whatever. You'll thank me when we're 90 and the machines have taken over and you still have something to read by candlelight, see? Always thinking ahead. Anyway, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward. When I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mentees? I bet uh, they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced. Pick up. He's been through a lot. Yada, yada, yada. Can't wait to see you. Yada, yada, yada. All right, okay, okay, okay. So, you've been in Juvie? I can't for believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm pretty in much here? done here. I just need to grab my goblin and I'm off. You got you got a goblin, dude. Uh. Bombed. I have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. 
Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. They're gonna need what? it more than I do. Edgy teen years, man. Got you. Oh, gonna miss these dum dums. Later, tired of best mentor. We'll miss you. Good luck. I'm a girl. Vaya con Dios. What else do we have? Why would you send a student art show to what art to show at Grindhouse? Got you. Got you. Matches young thing. Tling. Tlingit artist with a favorite local venue. Tlingit is, I think, the the people native to that region. I I, I guess they'll be addressed later on. Oh, there you go. Look, okay, okay, here we go. Uh, the Transgender Man's Guide to Healthy Masculinity. All right, okay. So, yeah. As I said, this dude is transgender. And we get to play as a transgender. I don't think I... I don't recall... Hey, little guy. You're going to be reunited with your sister soon. Oh, little Yoda. I don't recall ever playing with a transgender before. So I guess they were right when they said it's the first... No. I need to get my application ready for next summer. First playable transgender. Take me! This box of junk treasure is now yours by the first law of finders keepers. Right, ooh, fish. Refill. TRX and testosterone shots. Gotcha. All right, all right, all right. I'm not getting... Let's read this first. first. Hey, Aaron, I know I'm bad at this, but just want to say you've been the best counselor uh, and at-risk yet redeemable youth. Huh, I could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping me more ways than you know. I'll try to I'll try to make it count outside Fireweed. Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man. Tyler. All right, nice. I'm not getting a lot of your personality, not as much as your sister, if I'm honest. It's a lot about... I just I just got your music tasted. Celebrate, educate, unite. Trans Visibility March on Juno. Oh, okay. Alright, got you. Equality and stuff. Man, I'm gonna miss that view. That's pretty. Alright then. I just need to pack my goblin figurine. Oh yeah, your goblin figure. I'm sorry I about that. Allison still has hers. Hey, little guy, you're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Norse. That's the only thing we're gonna pack. All right. Uh, cool. I guess I'm totally ready to go now. Totally ready to go. That's that's so awesome. Oh, he's got the plant too that says, "Give me water and um." Oh, it's going to be so many fields. Oh. <gasps> Why? Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? Ooh, well, let's not go, let's go for the people. Honestly, the people, the other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron, it took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. 
They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Rear view mirror. Okay, the stage is set. No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. He's not wrong. I can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While well, I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. Okay. Interactive part now. It's where the bonding begins. Like you. Oh. Allison? Whoa. Zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. Why did we take the ferry instead of the coast road? Because I didn't want to be stuck in the car with you for an extra two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> we have to take the ferry. It's the only way to reach Delos from Fireweed. I see. Well, good. I don't think my stomach could have taken two more hours of how you handle curves. I'm sorry. Do you want to take over driving when we dock? <laughs> no. You're going to have to get back behind that wheel at some point, you know. Look, I put a Fireweed van nose first in a ditch. Hey. At least you missed the porcupine. I'm guessing oh. things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. F left shift to reply. Small town live that uh Guess that normal life you wanted didn't live up to your expectations, huh? I mean having cable and full time electricity was definitely a plus, but no one ever forgets anything in a small town. You get marked a weirdo, and that's it. That's your life. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? Uh, that one? Guess someone finally bought that old shack. That, or the ghosts are cozying up by the fire. Think the new owners know it's totally haunted? 
I'm sure Tina did her best to keep them from figuring it out. At least until the paperwork was signed. Ugh. That house always gave me the creeps. Those windows are like huge gawking eyes. Uh, you think people talk about our house this way? Probably. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out, people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view. Unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed. Right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering, and you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift-giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. I, I, I don't- this is a big decision. I don't- I don't know. I wouldn't accept- I don't freaking know. I wouldn't accept it. I'm sorry, I wouldn't accept it, and he doesn't seem like he wants to accept it, so no. I can't accept this. I'm just not there yet. All right. You gonna mope about that for the rest of the day, or what? I just hoped you might make an effort, that's all. An effort? It's an effort not to punch something whenever you say his name. Can't you just cut him a break? He was doing the best he could with a truly shitty situation. I don't know, man. I don't have the whole story. But he didn't seem too thrilled about it, so I'm just gonna go with that. I love their eyes. Oh my god. Did you hear that? Is that a bear? Is that a whale? Whoa. Oh shit! Is that a humpback? I don't know names so, of whales. I'm a jerk. You just always need to have the last word. In other words, a jerk. I didn't need to dig in like that. I'm sorry. It's okay, man. You feel what you feel. That's all right. I'm sorry, too. I just hoped we could wrap everything up with a grand gesture and move on to our perfectly normal lives. What? This isn't normal? <laughs> Is 
Still your brother? Still your sister. Ow. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. Okay. Exploration time. It's so weird being back on this boat. Well, I take it his, his hometown is not too friendly and warm with the idea that you're a transgender. No surprises there. Beer's my sport. Check my six pack. <laughs> That's such a... I'm not even surprised by that sticker. Yikes. Crime control. Okay. Oh God. Hey man, it's your truck. You do you. Same to you. you live yeah. And let live. Damn Just right, man. Sticker. Enjoying the ride? I'm so not gonna like you, am I? Uh, let's whatever, man. I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Well, born, born actually. Bred. Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaska natives then. Clay kid, Ida. I haven't been home in five years. Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks, they get old real fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? I'm not that cultured. Tyler, oh, this is gonna, ooh, this is gonna stir up some argumentation. Let, let's piss this guy off. I didn't. I'm Tyler. Tyler Ronan. I, uh... Yeah. Ronan, huh? Yeah. Ronan as in the Ronans? Uh-huh. So, uh, you're... Killed my mom. Never knew those girls had a brother. We didn't. Uh, I, uh... Nice talk. Yeah. Enjoy Don't make it awkward. Town, Tyler. Why'd you have to make it awkward, old man? I'll see you around town. Alright. Let's enjoy the view for three seconds until I walk around the boat again. I am loving this view. Jesus. Is this what Alaska looks like? Er, uh, my god. Clinkit. That's how you pronounce it. Clinkit. Alright, so we're gonna get some culture down our throats now. <laughs> Remain in vehicle. While Ferry's talking. Seatbelt, no horn, no smoke. Alright. Do not enter. Weird ass sticker. Well, did I look at this? I did not. Hey, Allison. Can we Allison. take the scenic route instead of the highway? He's ignoring Allison? you. Think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. Thanks, Alex. Uh, uh soon, I hope. sure. Crown jewels now open. Bed and breakfast, sure. Uh, canoe for sale, sick. Five hundred Dora. No bargaining, bro. Let's cut my own tree and make my own. Introduction: Devil's Clee, Devil's Club Tea. In Delos Crossing. Oh, we might look into that one. What's over here? Oh, there you go. Clink it. Dance performance. Ooh, look at that. Culture. <laughs> Invitational drumming, singing, and dancing. Come share and celebrate our culture. I am very much open to learning that stuff. Under the sea. Under the sea. There is no substitute. Protect our only home for me. Da 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 da. That seems like something you would go to protect our home, Tyler boy. T man. T to the I to the Ler to the Ronan. Am I right? 
Oh, I just got to ride it out. Oh, I thought I had to like trigger conversations to move on with the story, but no, we just got to wait for the boat to get there. Am I right, big sis? Or small sis? Or equal? You no, know, you're a twin sis, aren't you? I wonder who was born first, though. Land ho! Yeah. Oh, wait, it's not. Is that a car? Is that a car? Is traveling really that hard in Alaska? Ferries and ferries and boats. And then six months of sunshine and six months of darkness. That's, that's all I know of Alaska, and I don't even know if it's true. Okay, I'm liking this build up. Getting to know the personalities of the characters and of the region. <clears throat> but I'm not too thrilled about going back to this little town where people might not be as a progressive in their thinking, you know, in a more liberal and tolerative sense, tolerating sense. Also not too thrilled that they might not be very welcoming to someone who killed their mother. Which, that one, I can probably understand. <laughs> they boarded up their home? Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. What are we doing? After you. We are, just, are we polishing up the place just to sell it or something? Or? Let's have a peek through the window. No, actually, the door's probably going to be locked and we have to climb through the window or something. Yeah. Classic. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. Smart ass. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. Damn right. How about the very obvious window? The left. Alright, smash it. I could break a window. 
You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Yeah. Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly in... <sighs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or Where? should I say, us. We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. Smart. Are you looking at this so that I can crawl through? Ew. Ew. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah. We should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Yeah. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh. It's locked, all right. Maybe a bear lives in there. I'm not going to forget that bear story. What was she doing out here that night? Oh, uh, man. Stop thinking. Well, at least the tools are still here. That'll help with the repairs. She did not like oh. us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. Or she thought we'd go on a rampage and tear up her precious plants. And we would have, so... Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it to the shopping list. Ew, like totally. Ew, Addison, like, oh my god. Or how do we break into a home then? Uh, did I do this? At least the shed's still standing. Yeah, I did that. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with you need a hand with that. No, it should be fine. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. Use your raw muscle. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Okay, well that's in the house. I think I saw one back in the shed. Let's go uh, how, how do I get in there? Oh look, it even tracks my footprints. Oh sweet. I always appreciate that in games. Uh, well, do you have a key for the thing, my thing, or do we like, break in here or something? Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. Maybe the screwdriver. I guess Marianne left us something useful, huh? Yeah. We still have to find a way to get inside, though. And please, no broken windows. We'll see ya. What's happening? Do you feel that? All to focus on your band. My band? Ooh! And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. We got superpowers. But our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah. Okay, near the barn. Too. Hold to focus on your band and memory the key. Locate the shared memory. Hurry, 
let's go see the silent frog. Coming, I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already, I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just uh, have to remember which one is the silent frog. Maybe the one covering his mouth. Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. Good boy. Oh, this one. Though. What's this? Was that bird seed? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Ooh. Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Ooh. Gotta work hard to play hard, Carl. If you don't break into your own home, what's life really about? I would actually screwed those in. I thought this would be like a hammer situation. Then again, I was very bad at woodwork in school. You sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Migrants. Do I ever play as Allison Are again? You or okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. Alright. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Bye. Our last do dish. Okay, I thought it was gonna be a game where you can like switch back and forth between the two siblings. Ouch! Oh god. Are you okay? What happened? I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember dragons. Straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. Left. Then left again after the goblins. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. Been a long time. Without you, my friend. We through here? You did say left at the goblin. Oh, those goblins. Nope. It was on the right. My oh. Bad. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, a little tea party. That was our treasure? It's just trash. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes. <laughs> the goblin never gives up their treasure. Nice. Pass the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really... The mad hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Marianne's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Okay, so the superpowers are gonna read each other's minds. Or hear each other's thoughts, rather. That's a dangerous gift to have. I don't want anyone reading my thoughts. Oof. Am 
now the me memories just come flooding back I get <coughs> I'm sorry Music suggests it's both good and bad. Tyler, are you in there? Ah, he cracked a smile. Tyler! Dude. Dude waiting. Coming. Bro. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah. Same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Alright, that's a good idea, but we will be doing that on the next video, Lady Girls and Jenna Boys. Memory Lane for part two. Find the treasure box in the twins' bedroom. Alright, we will do that next time. Oof. Okay, this is gonna be it's gonna be a sad ride, 100 percent They're probably gonna top. Life is Strange 1 and 2 and gonna make me cry like a little bitch. So, lady, girls, and gentlemen, boys, hope you're enjoying this. I'm very much looking forward to, like, these two twins meeting the town folk and see how the town folk reacts. Just, I, I, I have this image of them being very small-minded people and not very open to the fact that, you know, these two twins are coming back home and one of them is now a dude. That's gonna be awkward. And then I'm going to make fun of those people. But lady, girls and gentlemen, boys, I will see you on the next part. Hope you guys take care. Uh, stay safe. Wash your hands. Stay frosty. See you soon. Bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.